and joining me from parts unknown. It's like I just saw you yesterday. Literally, I just saw him yesterday. Y'all know he ain't never really gone because you just heard him at 1 p.m. Eastern. And now he's back, 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 rolling down the Urban View River. Let me welcome the one and only Clay Kane to the Karen show. Hunter. Hey. Karen Hunter on <laughs> Wellness Wednesdays. Wow. Yes. Um, hey. You know, I listen to your show every day. I listen to it at the gym. and I text you throughout the show. And I just felt uh, it's funny. Some people felt triggered by uh, Wakanda forever. I felt triggered by some of these callers. And I want to say this, that you, of course, have a right to your opinion. Uh, no one is trying to erase your opinion, but people have a right to their life experiences. And I was the one that sent you that text. Um, no offense, but if your nine year old saw that kiss on the forehead, and it made her say, what's going on here? Uh, what is that? Because to be honest with you, I didn't even see it. I didn't even know it. I, it didn't, didn't even, didn't resonate with me. I don't think it resonated with you, Karen. Uh, I have very young cousins. They didn't think about it. Maybe your nine-year-old saw something that touched them. Maybe your nine-year-old grandchild saw some intimacy that touched them. Maybe your nine-year-old grandchild is so smart that she's able to tell when the cousin in your family is maybe implicitly being shunned. I also want to add that black gay folks have been serving the black church since there was a black church. There would be no black church without the gay folks who've been faithfully serving. Yep. And there are a lot of people who do harmful things in the name of goodness, in the name of their God, in the name of their Jesus. And lastly, I want to say that I got to always remind folks on, on my airwaves that there are LGBT folks who are black. So that scene in Wakanda forever, those two seconds, it was two black people. It was two black people. Folks keep saying LGBT, LGBT. Do you know how much racism black LGBT folks face? It was two black women showing some kind of affection. That is a good thing. And if you were outraged by that, then I assume you are willing to throw away James Baldwin, Audre Lorde, Bessie Smith, Langston Hughes, Bayard Rustin, currently Malcolm Kenyatta, currently Chevron Jones, currently two of the founders of Black Lives Matter that y'all like to quote a lot. We as black people, we don't have time to throw any of us away. And the sad thing that I hear is there are some people who wanna throw us away. And that whole narrative about, oh, well, my moral, my faith, let me, one, another, one more quick thing. My uh, mother is white. And she told me when her racist uh, grandmother, which would be my great grandmother, saw a black family moving in, in New Jersey, she said, oh my gosh, Julie, the neighborhood's gonna be ruined because one black family moved in. So you see one peck or a commercial and you feel like everything is ruined. A hit dog will holler. Maybe something is ruined within you. So I was just so moved to call in. And, and, and Karen, I got to tell you, the stuff that you're saying on these airwaves engaging, I wish I would have heard something like this when I was 10, 20, or even 30 years old. Maybe I would have hated myself a little bit less for a very long time. Wow. Mm. Wow. I love you so much with every fiber of my being. And I'm so grateful that you're part of this community because you give so much every single day. And I, I couldn't imagine a world without Clay Kane in it. So uh, 